hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math my name is varakumar today we are going to solve a problem from coordinate geometry exercise 7.1 third problem already we have completed first and second problems so before going to solve third problem just we have to learn about a collinear points so see here what are the collinear points the points which lie on the same line are called collinear points. The points which lie on the same line are called collinear points. See here, the points A, comma B and C are on the same straight line. So here, A, B, C are called collinear points. If A, B, C are collinear points, then we can write the distance between A and B and B and C. The sum of the distance between A and B and B and C is equal to the distance between A and C. So that is AB plus BC is equal to AC. So this is the condition for collinearity or collinear points. So this you have to remember to do the problem, third problem. So simply you have to remember the points which lie on the same line are called the collinear points. So here uh, this is example here A comma B and C are on the same straight line. So here A B C are called collinear points. So if they are collinear so A B plus B C is equal to A C. So this is the concept of collinearity and collinear points. So now we have to solve third problem. This is the third problem from 7.1 exercise, uh, very very important, uh, it is on the collinear points. Uh, so very very important every time he is asking either for 2 marks or 4 marks, uh, uh, just you have to follow the steps. Uh, it is uh, uh, based on the distance formula only, uh, very easy and important. So see here what he has given verify whether the points 1 comma 5 comma 2 comma 3 and minus 2 comma minus 1 are collinear or not so here he has given three points he is asking the three points are collinear or not so just we have learned the definition of collinear points the points which lie on the same line are called collinear points if the given three points are collinear, uh, let it is A, B and C. Now we have to find the distance between A, B, B, C and A, C. If A, B plus B, C equal to A, C, then we can say that the given points are collinear. If it is not equal, if A, B plus B, C is not equal to A, C, then we can say they are not collinear. So see here how can we uh, solve or how can we verify. So here uh, the given points are, uh, let the given points uh, A is equal to 1 comma 5, B is equal to 2 comma 3 and uh, C is equal to minus 2 comma minus 1. So let us find the distances of A, B, B, C and C, A by using the distance formula D is equal to square root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. So here now we have to find the distance between AB, BC and AC. So here see here now we have to find the distance between A and B. So the distance between is so it is denoted by AB. So now we have to find the distance between A and B. So using the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So let it is x1 and y1, x1 comma y1, it is x2 comma y2, x1 y1, x2 y2. So now x square root of x2 minus x1 whole square, x2 is 2, x1 is 1, uh, that is 2 minus 1 whole square, 2 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, y2 is 3, y1 is 5. So y2 minus y1 whole square is 3 minus 5 whole square. 3 minus 5 whole square. 3 minus 5 whole square. So now how to simplify it. Uh, see here uh, how just you have to simplify. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 square is also 1. 1 into 1. 
So here 3 minus 5 is minus 2 whole square. So just once I am writing minus 2 whole square. So that is equal to square root of 1 plus minus 2 whole square is minus 2 into minus 2 we can get plus 4. So square root of 1 plus 4 is square root 5 units. So this is the distance between A and B that is AB. And the same way how to find the distance between B and C and C and A. So next the distance between B 2 comma 3 and C minus 2 comma minus 1 is uh, BC is equal to uh, again we have to use square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So let it is x1 y1 and it is x2 y2. So square root of x2 minus x1 whole square. So x2 minus x1 x2 is minus 2 x1 is 2. So x2 minus x1 becomes minus 2 minus 2 whole square so x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here y2 is minus 1 y1 is a 3 so minus 1 minus 3 whole square so this is a, a bc just we have to simplify here what we get uh, see here uh, i am writing here uh, minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 whole square minus 4 whole square plus here minus 1 minus 3 it is also minus 4 whole square so here it becomes uh, so minus 4 whole square is plus 16 plus my here also minus 4 whole square it is also plus 16 minus 4 into minus 4 we get plus 16 square root of 16 plus 16 we get a square root 32 square root 32 so next uh, we have to find the distance between a and c so now the distance between so now we have to find the distance between a 1 comma 5 and c minus 2 comma minus 1 is ac again you have to use the distance formula a uh, square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 so now we have to find uh, square root of x2 minus x1 x2 is minus 2 x1 is 1 x2 minus x1 is uh, minus 2 minus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 so y2 is minus 1 and y1 is 5 so minus 1 minus 5 whole square minus 1 minus 5 whole square so now I have to simplify it uh, so here uh, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 whole square minus 3 whole square plus minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 whole square minus 6 whole square so see here what we get uh, so minus 3 whole square is 9 plus minus 6 whole square is 36 so minus 6 whole square is 36 minus 6 into minus 6 so it is a square root of 45 square root of 45 9 plus 36 is 45 so now how to find the distance sum of the distance a b plus b c is equal to therefore how to find equal to so a b is root 5 the distance between a and b and b c is equal to square root 32 it is the distance between b and c and a c is equal to and a c is equal to how much it is square root 45 so here it is very clear a b plus b c is not equal to a c so therefore we can write uh, a b plus b c is not equal to a c so a b plus b c it is not equal to a c therefore the points are not collinear therefore the given points are not collinear so like this we can verify whether the given points are collinear or not using the distance formula so very very important uh, definitely you can get either two or four marks uh, from collinearity. 
so uh, this is the third problem next we have to solve fourth problem uh, this is the fourth problem from 7.1 exercise uh, uh, see here what he is asking check whether 5 comma minus 2 comma 6 comma 4 and 7 comma minus 2 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle so he has given three points whether the given three points are vertices of a isosceles triangle or not he is asking so before that what is an isosceles triangle that you have to know so a triangle in which the lengths of any two sides are equal is called an isosceles triangle so a triangle in which the lengths of any two sides are equal is called an isosceles triangle so here uh, uh, let the given points be a is equal to 5 comma minus 2 b is equal to 6 comma 4 and c is equal to 7 comma minus 2 so if these are the vertices of an isosceles triangle then we must get the lengths of either a b b c or c a among those three any two must be equal then only we can say that the given points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle otherwise they are not so again now we have to find the <coughs> a distance between a comma b and b b comma c and a comma c so i have to find the distance using the distance formula so see here just if they are the vertices of an isosceles triangle so now how to find the uh, distance between a and b b and c and c and a so by using the uh, distance formula so the distance between so this is the distance formula the distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so now I have to find the distance between A and B. So the distance between A and B. To find the distance between A and B. So it is denoted by AB. So AB is equal to. So now using the distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square we have to find. So let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2. So it's just simply how to substitute in the formula that is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square x2 is a 6 x1 is a 5 x2 minus x1 is a 6 minus 5 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so y2 is 4 y1 is minus 2 so that is a 4 minus of minus 2 whole square so this is a x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so now we have to simplify so 6 minus 5 is a 1 a 1 square is 1 only 1 into 1 1 so here 4 minus of minus 2 it becomes 4 plus 2 so it is a 4 plus 2 whole square 4 plus 2 so that implies a uh, write 1 as as well but this uh, 4 plus 2 is uh, 6 uh, 6 square is uh, 6 into 6 36 uh, 6 square is uh, 36 uh, that is square root of 1 plus 36 is uh, square root of 37 units uh, 37 units uh, so this is the distance between a and b so next we have to find the distance between b c so now we have to find the distance between the yeah it is denoted by bc so again using the distance formula we have to find what is the distance formula a uh, distance formula equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square uh, let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 just we have to substitute in the formula so that is a square root of x2 minus x1 whole square x2 is a 7 x1 is a 6 x2 minus x1 is a 7 minus 6 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here y2 is minus 2 y1 is 4 so y2 minus y1 is minus 2 minus 4 whole square so just we have to simplify here 
so 7 minus 6 is 1 1 square is 1 only plus minus 2 minus 6 is um, sorry minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 whole square so it is minus 6 whole square so here uh, minus 6 uh, right 1 as usual minus 6 is a uh, whole square is minus 6 into minus 6 again we can get 36 uh, plus 36 uh, so square root of 1 plus 36 is uh, square root 37 units uh, square root 37 units uh, uh, this is the distance between b and c so next we have to find the distance between a and c also find the distance between a 5 comma minus 2 and c 7 comma minus 2 is uh, ac so this is the distance between a and c so by using the distance formula we have to find again a uh, distance formula equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square uh, let it is x1 comma y1 and it is x2 comma y2 so square root of x2 minus x1 whole square is x2 is 7 x1 is 5 x2 minus x1 whole square is 7 minus 5 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square y2 is minus 2 y1 is also minus 2 uh, that is a uh, minus 2 minus of minus 2 whole square so just we have to simplify here uh, 7 minus 5 is 2 uh, 2 square is 4 directly I am writing here minus 2 so here minus into minus plus 2 whole square so that is uh, square root of 4 plus minus 2 plus 2 is 0 2 minus 2 0 0 square is 0 so square root of 4 plus 0 is square root 4 square root 4 is 2 so here we have therefore a b is equal to square root 37 comma b c is equal to square root 37 and a c is equal to 2 units so these are the lengths of the sides of triangle a b c so here the lengths of a b and b c are equal so what is the definition of isosceles triangle a triangle in which the lengths of any two sides are equal then it is called an isosceles triangle here the lengths of these two are equal so therefore a b is equal to b c a b is equal to b c therefore the given points uh, are the so here uh, a b is equal to b c therefore the given points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle so like this we can check whether the given points are of an isosceles triangle or not uh, so this is the fourth problem in the first exercise uh, that's all today's class uh, we will meet in the next class with uh, another problem thanks for watching Thank you.